Hey boss, I'm back from my time cop mission. Yeah, um, listen, we need to talk. Oh, what is it this time? I did what you asked. I brought back Michael Myers. I stopped that toy maker from killing a bunch of, or mask maker, whatever he is, from killing all those kids, right? Yeah, listen, you prevented Michael Myers from becoming a fictional character, but here's the thing. Yeah, just like according to plan, all that stuff from 1978 happened again. But this time, Michael and Dr. Loomis didn't die in that crazy exploding uh, hospital thing. Like, like when, when that big explosion went off, they didn't die. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Nobody could have lived for that explosion. Look, look. The explosion uh, put Michael in a coma for like 10 years, okay? But then, in 1988, we decided to transport his comatose body to a new facility a few days before Halloween. Hey, wait a minute. Transporting Michael Myers right before Halloween. Weren't they going to do that back in 78? Isn't that how this whole thing started in the first place? Why would you transport Michael Myers right before Halloween again? You know how much he likes to kill people before Halloween. Look, look. I know, I know. He escaped. Okay, but listen. This is what happened. First, he escaped in 88. He went after Laurie Strode's daughter, Jamie Lloyd, okay? He went after Jamie Lloyd in 1988. Yeah, it turns out Laurie and her husband died in a car accident. But once Michael found out he had a niece, he went after her and tried to kill her instead. He didn't succeed in killing them in 88, but after... They thought they killed Michael. It turned out Michael was still alive, and he was just kind of hibernating for an entire year. He wakes up shortly before 89's Halloween, and he goes on another killing rampage. At the end, some dude wearing all black clothing busts Michael out of prison. He not only kidnaps Michael, but he kidnaps Jamie. Are you following all this? Anyway, turns out they're part of some crazy secret cult. And um, Michael gets loose again, killing a whole bunch of people in, I think it's like 95 or something like that. Like, listen, listen, about six years after they were captured, Michael breaks out again, kills a bunch of people. It was a mess. It was a whole big mess. So, here's my point. Go back in time and take Michael. Right after the explosion, take him and just take him with you on your time travel. Transport him, let's say, um, 20 years into the future. Hey, ho hold on, hold on a second here. You want me to take my wires from 1978, right after the big explosion at the hospital. And you want me to take him 20 years into the future, in 1998? How will that help anything? I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Look, if you take him into the future, then there won't be like, there won't be that attack in 88 or the attack in 89. And there won't be that cult. Um, that kidnaps Michael, he'll never have a baby, or I mean, Jamie will never have a baby that might, he might be the father of, you just, just listen, none of that stuff will happen if you just take him to the future with you, um, trust me, trust me, this is gonna work, this is gonna work this time, I can't see any negative consequences, we just take him to the future, we drop him off in 1998, what could go wrong? 